Okay, in this short segment, we're going to demonstrate the termination of our LMR 400 cable with a standard end mail EZ connector, our EZ 400 NMH connector. And this connector has a gold plated beryllium copper spring finger contact, so it allows us to terminate the cable using a very few simple tools. First of all, we want a nice square cut on the cable. One way of achieving that is using these coaxial cutting pliers and just applying a small amount of pressure with a back and forth motion and cut through the core. When you feel it come to the center conductor, your little snap, this allows you to cut the cable squarely without crushing the core. At this point, what we do is take the heat shrink boot, place it over the cable, take the ferrule, place it over the cable, put a slight bend in the cable to give us some little bit of uh, uh, grip on the cable. Now take the ST400EZ strip tool using side one, which is labeled, place that over the cable, and with a, in, being in line with the cable, just gently turn the tool as it cuts through the jacket and the core. You just want to continue to turn the tool until the tool spins freely, like so, removing the tool. Next, take the deburring tool and just a couple, four or five back and forth motions with the tool and takes the burrs off the end of the center conductor. You can now take a sharp knife or a razor blade, just run that right around the center conductor, this perimeter, and once longitudinally, and just take that primer material just pop that right off of the cable. You now go back to the same tool, the ST400EZ. You now use side two. You place side two over the cable, and again with a, just a gentle turning motion, you, you remove the jacket material from the cable. And again, you just spin it freely, and spin it until it spins freely, like so. Just back that off. At this point, you just want to pull back the braid. You don't want to overdo it, just enough to get the connector on. You want to leave the braid, uh, you don't want to comb it out, just leave it as undisturbed as possible. Take the connector, slip it over the core, it'll slip over there snugly, push it back gently until you feel it stop. At that point you give it a little extra push, like so. Those are the spring fingers sliding over the center conductor. At this point, you take the ferrule, push it all the way up to the back of the connector, pull the ferrule back, pull the connector up, back, and then just take a pair of scissors and trim away that excess braid. Okay, like so. You take the connector, push it back onto the cable, take the ferrule, push it all the way up to the connector, back of the connector body. At this point, we'll crimp the connector. And by trimming the braid, it allows us to crimp up very close to the back of the connector, which is what we want to do. We want to avoid crimping the jacket. Place the crimp tool onto the uh, ferrule. Make sure the ferrule is up tight against the back of the connector and just crimp it. Okay, at this point, we'll slide the atom, the adhesive lined atom shrink boot, heat shrink boot, up just to the back of the hex nut, like so. Then we'll apply heat and it'll shrink that boot down completely and we'll shrink it to the point that the adhesive begins to flow out each side of the boot, a little lip of adhesive. At that point, we'll know that the adhesive is bonded properly to the jacket and to the connector and that we'll have a very uh, weather tight seal. All 
All right, so at this point, you can see there's a lip of adhesive that's protruding from both sides of the boot, telling us that we've properly shrunk this down and we've warmed up the adhesive enough to make a good bond, a good moisture tight bond. All right, so this is our final product. This concludes the termination of the LMR 400.